uh, hello again. Um, doing a quick video. Uh, I wanted to show you guys how to uh, install one of these custom launchers. Um, right now I have the um, Asus Zen launcher, um, the next Zen launcher running on Carbon ROM. So if you notice, if I pull up from the bottom, I have my uh, manage home settings. It's not that hard to do. You just have to know how to push files uh, into your root system. Um, if you notice, uh, under my settings, I'll go down to home here, and I will show you the launchers that I have on. Um, besides uh, Nexus and Trebuchet and uh, Google Now Launcher, uh, I have the uh, Asus Launcher and the One Touch Launcher from uh, the two ROMs uh, that I was uh, testing. Um, and I will show you that they are both operational. I'll go to the One Touch Launcher, hit Home. Got it. And now I am running the One Touch Launcher. And how I know that is if I swipe from the left, I have the One Touch Stream. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the other launcher. Um, I just kind of like that. I'm, I'm working with it right now, doing some testing. Um, and I have all my apps set up on it for now, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to show you how to do this. Basically, what you need, your requirements are going to be, obviously, you have to have root enabled, and you need a good... Um, uh, file manager. Uh, I use ES File Explorer. Um, it seems to work good for me. Uh, I know a lot of people have issues with it. Just read up on it. I've never had any issues, uh, security issues. Uh, I like it. I use it. Um, so, basically what you want to do is you want to go into your file manager. And um, the best way I know to do it is I downloaded installed the ROM, set it up, then I used an app called App Extractor. Um, I extracted the app and do, it makes its own folder. Um, then I went into that folder and this is these are the apps you get. Now, the, uh, the easiest way to do this is to touch and hold it, hit copy to, and then you want to go to your system, if I can find it, system, and your launchers are going to be on your in, under Pervy app, so you'd hit Pervy app. The next thing you want to do is create a folder. That folder has got to be named exactly the same as the as the APK that you're going to put in it, minus the .apk. So the app I am going to put in here is called One Touch Launcher. Scroll down, and you'll notice I've already got a folder called One Touch Launcher. Um, one touch is all capital letters and launcher the first letter is capital because that is exactly how the uh, the APK itself is named one touch all caps and then launcher um, remember you don't put dot APK on the folder one touch launcher right here and there is no dot APK after it after you paste it here and it looks like this then you want to touch and hold oh you got it you have to click OK first um, which I did I'm not going to go through this uh, because it's just going to mess it up for me but uh, once you do that and you click OK it'll paste it there you want to go back into it again so you want to go back into system go back into Pervy app Go to that folder that you created, One Touch Launcher. Find that app that you have on it. Touch and hold it. Go to More, Properties. And where it says Permissions, that is not going to look like this. 
it is going to look like that. You want to change it to look like that. Then click OK. Then reboot your phone. Once you reboot your phone, that app will be fully functional. Um, I do want to stress, though, that anything that that app relies on, say maps or uh, widgets or anything else, you want to make sure that you install exactly the same way. And there's nothing more to it than that. It is that simple. Well, guys, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment. Uh, let me know. I'll get back to you as quick as I can on it. And um, if you liked it, thumbs up. Not, thumbs down. Um, we'll see you on the next one.